Hey guys, happy Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Wednesday vlogger, Sunny Day, um, otherwise known as Anne. So the topic this week is Thanksgiving. How will you celebrate? Uh, you know, are you going to go to the gym? Are you going to cook? Are you going to have folks over? Are you going to eat like a maniac? What's your plan? So, right. So this year for Thanksgiving, um, it's a little bittersweet because it's the first year that my my parents are not here. Um, they purchased last year a house in Florida for their winter getaway, their snowbird, whatever. Um, so, you know, my husband and I, the whole reason we moved to Wisconsin was to be around family and especially like holidays are, are really important to me. Um, I'm a little bit of a tradition kind of person. So anyway, um, it's a bit bittersweet because we're having my brother and his family over and my three nieces and, and that should be super fun. But, you know, um, we'll have to make a, a Skype call or something to my folks so we can say them and see them and say happy Thanksgiving. Um, what are my plans? So I'm having my brother and his family over tomorrow and uh, I actually did something a little out of the box or in the box. Um, a local grocery store has a deal where you can buy Thanksgiving in a box. I know it sounds just wrong on so many levels, but it's through their deli and um, they have, uh, it's like, what? let me think here. It's a turkey like 15 pound turkey. I mean, it's not a tiny turkey. It's like a 15 pound turkey. There's like five pounds of mashed potatoes, stuffing, gravy, a dozen rolls, um, green bean casserole, uh, cranberry junk, and, la, 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 and a whole bunch of pie, like two or three pies. It's a lot of food, right? I mean, certainly more than I'm going to eat. I think Thanksgiving is neat because frankly, I can eat. There's turkey, there's cranberry junk, which depending on the cranberry junk, I can or can't eat. There's definitely green bean casserole, which is always a delicious yum yum moment for me that I can eat. Um, obviously with the pie and whatnot, I'll probably make like a little egg face cake or something to uh, commemorate the occasion for me. Um, we had a, a meeting at work on Monday and I did have a small slice of apple pie. I did it. I did. It was tiny. It was about maybe that big. Um, and I didn't dump. So, you know, I think I made that there, there was pumpkin there too. And I just wasn't sure which way to go with that. But anyway, I don't think I'll have pie tomorrow. Um, but I'll definitely have some turkey. I mean, turkey's so good. I, what the heck, why not? And put some gravy on it. Hell yeah, dress that thing up. Um, so no, I mean, it's not, I don't think that, I think it's naive to, in, in my opinion, it's naive to, um, skip holidays or to get annoyed because holidays are all about food. Look, if you cut it down to brass tacks from like an anthropological, uh, sociological stance, food is one of those things that is instinctual beyond the ages sharing of food with with people is a base um i don't even know what the word i'm looking for it's it's a it's a base celebratory method it's a way that goes back to cavemen of saying i like you or i love you here <laughs> have some of this that i worked really hard for right um and Thanksgiving is is a prime example of that. I am so happy you're in my life. I love you. Here, please come to my house. Sit at my table. Let me feed you. Um, and of course, the feeder in me is like, you know, <laughs> I can't eat all this junk, but I can watch you do it. It's kind of fun. I know that's really sick and twisted in my own way, but you know, that's how I am. So, um, no, I, I don't have any weird you know, like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. It's not like it's Halloween. Now that's some scary stuff right there. Or like, um, you know, Christmas cookie bacon time <laughs> or Easter. Oh my God. I used to get those big solid chocolate bunnies in my Easter basket. Oh, Easter, some scary stuff, but no Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner specifically. There's always meat. You can eat meat. You can eat a fair amount of meat even, like six ounces, if, if you're 
far enough, you know, me, I can, I can eat between four and six ounces of meat. And that's ugh, pouch is a happy, happy little pouch right after that. I'm like, woo! You know, now of course there's the tryptophan in the in the turkey, which is always good and people pass out, but I found I only really passed out if I if I carved it up with the turkey. So anyway, I'm rambling. I've already been talking for five minutes. Those are my plans for Thanksgiving. Yes, I will exercise. I made sure that um, Thanksgiving is a dumbbell day so I can actually do my exercise at home because I'm guessing my gym is closed. Um, so I'll be doing weightlifting tomorrow. Um, and, you know, lots and lots of cleaning between them and then and now. I'm actually about to go go clean some carpets. I rented one of those store-bought carpet cleaners. Guys, you think my carpets will be dry by the time people come here tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> we can always hope, right? Otherwise I'll be like, leave your shoes on, please. And I'll have like plastic wrap all the way through. Anyway, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I hope you guys have a fabulous Thanksgiving. Um, there's so much I'm thankful for. My heart is full. My cup is full. I'm overflowing. Um, I'm thankful for this community. I'm thankful for the surgery. I'm thankful for the, the 10 fingers and toes that I have that work. Um, I'm thankful for clean water and clean air and a husband that loves me. And I just, I have more blessings than I can count. So um, I hope you guys feel the same and I will talk to you next week.